Hello traders, hope you are all doing good. So finally some relief after yesterday's uh, panic moves and you know what happened yesterday and yesterday when you compare yesterday and today both Nifty and Bank Nifty, Nifty alone moved yesterday around uh, I think 800 points from 17,800 it came all the way down to 17,200. That is a 600, uh, 600 points move and today from 17,200 it was trying to close above 17,500 but it was not able to close above 17,500. Had it uh, closed above 17,500 it, it would have been a good uh, this thing good sign but uh, unfortunately it didn't happen anyway let us see what is going to happen today uh, tomorrow and you know what happened to bank nifty around 1600 points move yesterday and today around uh, 500 or 600 points move so total in two days 2000 2300 points move in nifty and i could remember yesterday one of our group member was uh, just joking that he has squared off his position and market will reverse and that is what is exactly happening you know what is happening in the market or you know how retailers behave is that when the smart money enters we exit and when we exit smart money enters that is what i think let me know what you think on the comment section below but however we will see what is going to happen tomorrow but uh, because today is one day you know how uh, how pathetic yesterday was because one day of relief do you think markets are going to go on the upside I don't know but what I see is or what the data suggests is that the, there is uh, downside there is uh, more downside than upside whether you see it on uh, open interest perspective or if you see it in other perspective some other data all these things say that overall position is overall market pa participants are short in the market if you see the open interest data or some other data as I told you everything is on the uh, downside only so if you if I uh, if I was uh, looking into the market today morning and if I was seeing uh, Reliance yesterday was down by 4% and today morning also it was down by 1.5% but fortunately what happened was Reliance was able to close in the green and that is the only reason and that was the only reason why nifty was able to nifty was also able to close in the green and you know nifty uh, reliance is having the highest weightage in nifty apart from that if you see the other heavy weights hdfc was not perf uh, performing hdfc twins hdfc bank and hdfc was not performing uh, then Bajaj fin, uh, Finance and Bajaj FinServe was both were performing, SBI and was, uh, State Bank of India was performing, then Kotak Mahindra Bank was performing, it was up by 1.1%. But these are all not heavyweights, no HDFC, if, uh, if FIIs are buying or let me put it in this way, if FIIs are buying, they would buy in HDFC and uh, good, uh, their favorite stock is HDFC, they would be buying in HDFC and HD. HDFC should uh, should uh, should have gone up right but what is happening here is HDFC is not going on the upside and uh, let me show you some other thing here uh, and India VIX you know India VIX was really a in spite of market closing in the green India VIX was not uh, going down see India VIX is around 18 percent from uh, earlier uh, last week it was around 14 or 15 I could remember it was at 14 or uh, 14 also now still it is at 18 only in spite of market moving 200 300 points I'm talking about nifty in spite of nifty uh, uh, gapping down going down to 17,200 and closing above 17,500 India VIX was not coming down so that is a one thing we have to consider, uh, consider right and if you see the open interest if you see the overall open interest uh, let me tell you or let me put uh, put it in this way call has decreased by around 11 percent total call in the 25th November expiry I'm talking about nifty total call from yesterday's uh, yesterday's call and today's call if you compare the yesterday's open interest and today's open interest the call has just increased by 11 percent but the put has been increased uh, decrease um, yeah sorry call has been decreased by 11 percent yesterday from yesterday and today the calls total uh, outstanding calls uh, has been uh, decreased by 11% but puts have been increased by 23% so 
so you have to look this into you have to take this into factor uh, into factor also maybe uh, there are uh, more uh, short straddles are being written if you see this uh, open interest chart also you can see that 17500 people are writing high high number of calls uh, calls and put so which means 17500 is having no more, more number of short straddles and if you see bank nifty i think bank nifty is going to go on the downside uh, you know why there is 37000 aggressive uh, call put writing at 37200 so this might be uh, if people are writing uh, so much in the money put option means they are so uh, there might be reason they are very bearish so you have to remember this if nifty is a if bank nifty is dragging it will also drag the nifty as well so apart from that if you see the fii data fii data is also not very much encouraging there are many things happening in fii data Uh, if you see for the last uh, november series we have been telling that uh, fii has sold more than 25000 crores till now in uh, uh, sorry in october series they have sold for around 25000 crores and in november series also they have started uh, selling till now they have sold for more than around uh, i think 13400 somewhere 13000 crores till now they have uh, sold in uh, fis have sold and dias are not uh, matching that selling thing so what is happening here is last uh, two months they have been continuously selling and fis for just two uh, out of all this trading session we have only two more trading session left only two trading session that was on 12th and 15th they have bought for around 400 crores and uh, around 500 crores 12th november they have bought for around 431 crores and uh, 15th november they have bought for around 531 crores or uh, somewhere there so out of all these uh, out of all uh, trading sessions in uh, november series just two series they have bought uh, for around 700 800 or 900 crores apart from that whole fis when you even in futures fi futures uh, futures data if you see they are net short in the market only so you have to remember this first the fi data says that there are more calls than the puts so which obviously means that markets are likely to go on the upside or uh, let me put it this way markets are not going to go on the upside so it is my i am bearish I have been bearish for a long time, and still I am bearish. So likely we have we may touch seventeen thousand. So that's what I am saying. You is uh, because the market has moved three uh, hundred uh, or four hundred points for one day. It doesn't mean market is going to go on the upside. Second thing is FIIs are still selling in the market. They have been selling heavily for November series, uh, October series, and November series also. they have been net sellers but they have sold less than october series that one that is the one thing you have to remember third thing is india vix is still on the higher side in spite of market moving nifty moving 300 or 400 points india vix is still on the upside it was not able to come down so that is the thing or that is a concern you have to keep in mind and still us markets yesterday when our markets were down us markets were moving on the higher side they were uh, i think dow futures have moved around 200 250 points nasdaq everything was moving on the upside but today uh, us futures are really flat so if you are not in spite uh, if we are if we are not getting support from the global queues we may not move on the upside so that is also a thing concern uh, thing you have to Uh, look into so apart from that if you see on the 12th november i am not uh, able i have not taken the chart uh, let me go to the chart first nifty 50 chart and uh, <coughs> i think i discussed this on my previous video also if you see here uh, yeah this is the yeah this is the nifty 50 chart uh, daily chart and if you see first of october <coughs> nifty exactly bounced back from this territory from 17800 or 17900 it came all the way down to 17200 and it was able to touch lifetime high of 18600 
Now, if this is this going to happen tomorrow, or is this going to happen in the future or in the near future? I really don't know. We all have to wait and see. If this happens, that is going to be really great. And uh, if 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 this uh, support is broken, if uh, today's support, which is seventeen thousand two hundred, is broken, then we will see seventeen thousand. And I am uh, sure, pretty much sure, or I have I have a belief that Nifty will touch seventeen thousand. Or even below seventeen thousand, so that is what I think. Even if it is not touching, no problem. We will see how we can manage, right? That's why we are here. Uh, we will try to manage. And this month also, we didn't make uh, anything much uh, really flat uh, because you know what uh, markets were very volatile. We were thinking October series were uh, was very volatile, but November is uh, so much more volatile than October. Seventeen thousand, how much? Eighteen thousand four hundred to seventeen thousand two hundred, thousand four hundred, thousand three hundred points more, and where we will make money? This is a uh, Nifty only. I am not talking about Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty nowadays it is very very hard to trade. So it's moving thousand six hundred points one day, five hundred points another day. So it's kind of very tough things. Anyway, yesterday intraday traders, I can see many intraday traders made money because it was moving on one direction. You no, know, they would have sold many calls. So let's see how markets span out uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.